So yeah, you guys, I've actually been seeing someone for the last couple of weeks now. Today is day two of a music video shoot I'm doing. Because we don't want her to die. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so overwhelmed. Hey! Happy Leo season! Yeah, happy Leo season! Good morning, Stan Stans. My name is Stan. Welcome to the world of extra. My name is Dewey. I'm just gonna be honest, the past few weeks, my motivation has been at an all-time low. And you guys know that I'm always like, intention is the most important thing to be happy. And I'm always like, you know what? I don't care if I'm not doing anything, I'm intentionally just not gonna do anything, just claim it so I'm not stressed about it. But today, I wanna be productive, so I'm going to intentionally be productive, okay? This is always giving me attitude. <laughs> Every time I lie down on my couch, she is just judging me. See, she's side-eyeing me again. Okay, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't gone to the gym in a week. Oh my god, I feel so bad because I literally just started going to the gym and then I quit right away. But when I'm too lazy to go to the gym, I literally just do push-ups at home. But today, just so I have the motivation, I'm gonna ask you guys to come with me to the gym. Let's go to the gym together, you guys, and help me work out, okay? Drinking my vegan protein. I've been procrastinating so much lately. And I know I always say, oh my god, you guys, it's okay. It's okay not to do anything. But then, unfortunately, life does go on. So so like all the responsibilities are not gonna wait for you so like what i mean by like it's okay is don't beat yourself up don't be guilty about not doing anything those emotions of course are just gonna ruin your day so that's what i mean by it's okay <coughs> the trash truck let me just hide here while the trash truck drives away of course when i say like it's okay to not be doing anything i don't mean like it's okay to ignore all your responsibilities right like i literally just mean like don't beat yourself up for ignoring those responsibilities just intentionally claim that you weren't able to do those because like i said in the past like being guilty about not being able to do anything is literally such a useless emotion so i think you just have to claim it that you weren't able to do anything and then you can start doing the things that you have to do like for example for the last few weeks i've been ignoring so many responsibilities but i claim that i'm telling myself i intentionally did that and from now on i can intentionally do the thing that I have to do and that's why I'm at the gym today I just think intention recently is the key to being happy because personally for me when I lose control over my life that's when I start to feel down that's when I start to feel like a little depressed so yeah always be intentional and claim the intentions you have control over your life okay I love working out late in the morning because there's no staff there's also no one here so I can literally just like show my tattoos and also just be like filming because it's so hard to film and there's a lot of people okay let's work out guys it is currently noon i just worked out for about an hour and i got ready for the day i'm gonna go get food now we have a lot of things to do today just you know getting our lives together dewey's gonna be tagging along with us today Hi. i'm so excited to hang out with dewey all the time but today i'm just gonna be doing a lot of the responsibilities i've been pushing back for the last few weeks i have to send out a mail to my accountant i have to develop all these pictures from my film camera we're also gonna go to the grocery store and buy a lot of the things that i have been missing i also don't have conditioner anymore like my, i am just a mess and i've just been procrastinating because I didn't feel as if they're like that important but we are gonna get our lives together together okay so let's go <laughs> I've actually been ignoring so many of my responsibilities that I haven't even opened my mailbox in literally like two weeks and there's so much mail <laughs> I've low-key been ghosting my accountant for like two weeks now and she's been asking for this document for a long time So finally I'm dropping it in. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> literally the most anticlimactic thing, but I've been pushing that back for literally two weeks It's already been in the envelope the whole time I've Wait. just been so lazy to like take it with me when I go out. Anyway, we are gonna go get lunch now It's a little bit late actually because we're filming a TikTok. We are at this restaurant called crisscross I've noticed that in Japan a lot of the places already do like mobile order right yeah so we just scan it and order this is one of my favorite brunch places actually my best friend nanami introduced it to me so we've come here like a couple of times already <gasps> oh my god wait they have free wi-fi too do you have surfshark wait what does wi-fi have to do with surfshark do you not know that public wi-fi is a gold mine for hackers Thank you so much to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. <laughs> so, if you guys didn't know, Surfshark is an app or browser extension that allows you to place your device anywhere in the world as if you were in that location. By doing that, there's a lot of benefits, right? Yeah. When you connect to public Wi-Fi, Surfshark encrypts your online data to make sure all your personal information and your browsing history are hidden. A lot of public Wi-Fis are like fake connections that hackers set up so people connect and they can literally access your phone, they can literally access all your data. Oh my god. So if you guys love using public Wi-Fi like Stewie because he loves saving his data, you guys should definitely 
use Surfshark. With Surfshark, you can also unblock websites and content that are not available in your own location. That's true. So if you guys use Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, you can really unlock the potential by using Surfshark. So you can watch shows from any country. And of course, it gets better. With Surfshark, you only need one account to transact all your devices. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you never have to worry about commitment. But yeah, if you guys want to try it out for yourself as well, make sure you guys click the link in the description box and use code EXTRA for three extra months free. That's a steal. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Ooh, cheers. cheers. Mm, it's like homemade ginger ale. We got our food. I got the roasted chicken with putanesca sauce and stuff. I got eggs, pancake, avocado, sausage. Mmm, mm, this eggplant is wild. Okay, what we're gonna do, you guys, is we're gonna go to the supermarket and I'm gonna make a very special eggplant dish. If you're Filipino, you guys will probably know it, but I'm gonna teach you guys how to make tortang talong. Thank you so much for this. You're welcome. Uh... So there is this new place. I think it's literally just like a pop-up, but it's BMW. And I've been saying that I'm not gonna get coffee anymore from like Starbucks and stuff. So we're gonna try this coffee. It's a pop-up coffee, so I'm not expecting it to be really good, but let's try it. Oh, that's We got our coffee. Let's try it. Cheers. Wait, that is such a good coffee. I can't tell. Wait, what the hell? That's actually really good. It's cold brew. I was expecting it to be bad because they just poured it from like a pitcher, but it's actually really good. And it's literally just a pop-up for BMW. But the coffee is yummy. Now we're on our way to Shibuya to develop the pictures from my film camera. I'm going to show you guys the pictures I developed, so make sure you guys stay till later. There's actually a lot of pictures with my ex, so I hope I don't get triggered because those film cameras, I've had them for months and months and months. But there's a lot of good memories there as well with my friends, with my family, so I just want to develop them, you know. I'm like recovering already from the breakup so I'm not triggered by any of like the pictures and stuff like I'll just delete them anyway let's go we're on our way to Bikku Kamera which is right there to develop all the pictures we made it to Shibuya yeah we're pulling up to Shibuya Sepele what's good Sepele Sepele what's good Stewie's armpit is smelling like ginseng ginseng is expensive I can't sorry we'll make you smell my ginseng armpit we are going to develop three photo thingies. Arigatou There's an option to print the pictures. There's also an option to get it as a CD. And there's also an option to just send it to your iPhone. So I just asked them to send it to my iPhone. What the fuck is that sound? One of the things I've been procrastinating on actually is making more short form content for you guys. That's why I haven't been uploading on TikTok, Reels, or YouTube shorts. So Stevie and I today have been filming super shy. So we're gonna do one of the shots here at Miyashita Park. Let's go. We have to do it in like a lot of different locations, so we have to be shameless when we're filming in public. So this is like take two in a different location. I think I fucked up, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the pictures are not gonna be ready for another hour, so we're just doing a quick little karaoke break. Stewie and I love karaoke. We love to sing, we love to dance, we love to cook. We're just so Filipino like that. <laughs> So we just finished karaoke, but we have to be productive again. I literally have been doing Uber Eats again for the last week or so. So I need to start cooking again. I really need to discipline myself, you guys. Oh my god. I literally almost went shopping today. I have like a things I want list, and one of them is like Dr. Martin's loafers, and it's literally like $200. But I've been spending so much money recently. Literally two of my credit cards have declined already because I've maxed them out. Oh my god, yeah. Today you were trying to pay for the film cameras, and they just like... Oh yeah, we also went to the film camera place, and like we got all the pictures so i'm gonna show you guys the pictures in a little bit at home but first we're just at the supermarket to buy all the essentials i need to start cooking again at home you guys oh my god i know i always tell you guys that like life isn't that serious and like we have to just live freely but you know at the end of the day we still have to do like a good balance like i need to discipline myself i always say like let loose let loose don't take life too seriously because all of you guys are like taking it too seriously and you guys are way too hard on yourself but for me i'm like too 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 not hard on myself i'm living too freely and i'm making like bad choices and bad decisions so it's time to be more disciplined okay what the fuck am i saying well long story short i need to be more smart with my money and i need to you know eat at home more cook more because that is actually a healthy decision anyway time to grocery shop pork chop frozen broccoli some dishwashing liquid my favorite yogurt for breakfast some orange juice soy milk some malib 
eggs, fries, some new flowers, a new toner, shampoo and conditioner, and body lotion. Okay, let's go home. Also, because I finally opened my mailbox today, I'm gonna show you guys later some PR packages. I got one from Vina of the Valley and Lush, so I'm gonna open that later. But first, the flowers. Oh my god, I feel like how murky the water is and how dead my flowers are speaks so much about how unproductive I am. Ew. Oh my god, literally, one of the flowers is rooting. I don't wanna smell it. I don't wanna smell it. I don't wanna... Should I smell it? No, I don't wanna smell it. <laughs> oh. I smell it. Honestly, I love supermarket flowers. They're just so cheap and they die so, so slowly. I swear, they spray it with something. It's probably hairspray. Ew, one of them is fucked up, bitch. Ta-da, new flowers. Anyway, I'm going on a third date with a boy I really like. So I'm gonna go to that and let you guys know tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. I'm still gonna be productive. Good morning, Stan Stans. I am quickly going to cook some lunch. It's actually been a couple of days. Today is day two of a music video shoot I'm doing. I'm gonna be in a music video video for this Japanese artist. When it comes out, I'm gonna let you guys know, so stay tuned for that. It's actually an LGBTQ plus music video, so there's a lot of like gay makeout scene, lesbian makeout scene, and just like a lot of sexy moments. I've never done anything like it, so I'm really, really excited. I'm only home for a little bit. I have to go back to the shoot at around 6 p.m. because we have like a nighttime pool scene or whatever. I'm so tired. I woke up at 6 a.m. today, but we are going to make some lunch. Okay, so the lunch we're gonna make is proclaimed the best egg dish in the world that it's actually Filipino food. This dish is called tortang talong. I remember when I was younger, I really didn't like tortang talong because it's just so basic and like I would eat it every single day, but recently I've been craving it. It's literally so, so easy to make. First things first, we have to burn our eggplant. So what I'm gonna do is literally put it on top of the stove top like this, turn on the fire and literally just burn it. Okay, I'm just gonna flip it because I wanna make sure every side is just burnt. Like literally black, like charred. Apparently you can also put it in the air fryer, you can also put it in like the oven, but this is the quickest way. Literally direct fire in the stove top. Whenever I eat eggplant, the roof of my mouth kind of itches, and I think I have a very, very, very slight allergy. I'm not allergic to anything, but I think eggplant is one of them. Kind of ironic because I love, you know, eggplant. Do you guys have that as well? Literally the slightest itch in like the roof of my mouth. Okay, now that it's really, really burnt like this, we have to cool her off so we can Heal her. It's really hot. I have no patience. I'm so hungry. I can't wait for it to cool off. Hey! It's not as easy to peel as I want it to be. I feel like I haven't burnt it enough. But isn't it so wild how the outside is so, so burnt, but the inside is like fully okay? That's the magic of Filipino dishes. Oh my god, it's literally steaming and I'm just touching it. Ooh, this is good enough. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna crack two eggs. One, two. I'm just gonna add salt and pepper to the egg. Don't use a bowl when you do this. You have to use a plate so we can dip the eggplant. I'm so good at beating. <laughs> okay, this is the fun part. Take the eggplant. And we're literally just gonna start doing this to her, you know, just gently. Don't squish her too much because we don't want her to die. You're supposed to make this like individually. But honestly, I'm just gonna make like one giant tortang tablo. That is a lot of fucking egg. Now that it's time to cook her, just get a little bit of oil. Actually, you can be generous with your oil so it fries really well. When you do it, make it individually, okay? But I guess I'm just gonna do it both at once because I got no time for that shit. Slide it. Yum! That's definitely a lot of egg. This isn't like scrambled eggs, so you're supposed to cook it properly. You don't have to like think about it being creamy. If anything, you should make it crispy. Let's flip her. Why am I touching it? It's so hot. Ready? Huh. Okay, honestly, that looks good. That's what tortantalong looks like. So we're just gonna plate her. A little bit too much egg, but this is basically what tortantalong looks like. This is so yummy, especially if you like eggplant. Do we just woke up? My day is like almost over. <laughs> it's a holiday. So usually people in the Philippines love to put ketchup in tortang talong, but I really want to try chinsu. Chinsu is this Vietnamese sauce that my best friend from Vietnam put me on. My favorite food in the world, boiled eggs and chinsu. Shut the fuck up, yes it is my favorite food, shut up. Just kidding, it's pork chops. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> also, yes, my fucking chopsticks are mismatched. Mismatched like a baddie. Mismatched like a baddie is this saying I made a few months ago when Stevia and I were talking about why I always choose two different chopsticks because he gets so bothered by it. He's like, no, like we have to use the same chopsticks each time. Like, don't mismatch. I'm like, you have to be intentional. Like, stop being bothered by small things like these. When you're intentional and you're like, I'm gonna mismatch like a baddie. I'm gonna use a red and a blue chopstick to pair. This is intentional. It's not bothering me. You know, it's just like a nice little exercise to not be bothered by all the little things in life. And I stand by it. Mismatch like a baddie. Also, I love ketchup all over my fucking torta de fuck talong. Mmm! Oh my god. Right? I find that sometimes being too busy is just a feeling of being really overwhelmed with like so much things to do And sometimes I catch myself being overwhelmed and there's not even like a lot of things to do I just don't know where to start and that's when I start thinking. Oh my god. I'm too busy. Oh my god I'm so overwhelmed. Oh my god. I have so much things to do But honestly, I'm just not being intentional and I just don't know where to start and I realize that there's such an easy fix to this Bitch when you're procrastinating you're on your phone anyway And when you think of something you have to do instead of being like, okay, I'll do it later write it down Just list it down because sometimes when it is time to do that thing, you're like, wait, which one should I start with? Bitch, write everything down, write every single thing you need to do down. And then once you have a list of things you have to do, it's so easy to do them. Just go through them one by one. At least for me, that works so, so much. Writing something you have to do down is already first step into doing that thing. I don't know about you, but I hate it when I make a list and I don't complete it. So I will make sure to do the thing I write down. Shut the fuck up. You should too. Anyway, if you guys end up making torta talong, let me know what you think. Time for some unboxing of PR packages and a gift I'm getting my date. Hey. So yeah, you guys, I've actually been seeing someone for the last couple of weeks now. I don't really want to get too much into detail. And I don't know, I feel like for this relationship, I really want to keep things private. Everything about me is online. So I feel like I just want to try it out, you know? A private relationship. And I also want to respect the privacy of the other person as well. We're not in a monogamous relationship yet. All I'm saying right now is I'm seeing someone and I really like him and he seems to really like me too. We've been seeing each other a lot recently so that's all I'm gonna say! First PR package is from Lush and it is the Spongebob collection. This is what it's looking like. Come on in, the water is fine. It's literally a Krabby Patty but instead it says Krabby Baffy. This is so cute. There is a Patrick Star bath bomb. That's really really cute. There is also a Spongebob bath bomb. Okay. They smell so good. I honestly just love keeping them out in the open because my entire apartment smells so good every time I do that. Oh my god, is this actually like a burger? I'm obsessed. It's a literal Krabby Patty. What? You guys, I think it's like multiple bath bombs and soaps. Oh yeah, it's soaps and bath bombs. <gasps> This is so cool. Next thing is from Vina of the Valley. I have been so, so, so excited for this. Oh my god. I've been obsessed with going to picnics. I have this really cute yellow picnic mat and I don't own a picnic basket and this is the most perfect picnic basket I've ever seen. If you guys can see, it has these really cute buckles. Oh my god! Spoon, fork, knife, plates, and even this cloth to put on top of this so you can eat on top of it like a table. Vina! Your brain! What? It comes with little water goblets or whatever. This is so cute. That is amazing. This will be perfect for my picnic dates with my crush. Ah! Speaking of my crush, I got these things for him. It's just a simple little activity I thought we could do when I go visit him at his place. But I'm so excited to like build these together. I feel like it's gonna be such a cute activity. I wanna like bring ice cream for him and we can just like watch a movie while doing this. I don't know, I just love doing romantic activities, you know? So, Stevie and I are quickly hanging out in Shibuya before my shoot starts again. I just wanted to quickly go to Don Quixote to buy some essentials. Okay, so I found this Instagram page on Instagram. <laughs> no, but I found this account on Instagram where they would like look at videos of idols and they would zoom in and like try to figure out what products the idols use. Oh. And so like I saw one of the members of NCT, I think, use this sunscreen, like the stick ones that you can put on top of makeup and it doesn't disrupt your makeup. I've seen them before, so I want to get one of those. And also I want to get the cushion foundation that Won Young uses. Did you see that one? I don't it's remember. from Innisfree. <laughs> 
tanginit na. It's been so hot in Japan recently. Like the temperature today, I think is like 40 degrees Celsius, like the real fuel temperature. This is my favorite oil cleanser of all time. It's a little bit pricey, but it's so worth it. I'm gonna get two today. Every time I find something that works for my skin, I always get a lot of it. Oh my god, you guys, I found this sunscreen. It's this exact same one. It's Nature Republic, and apparently you can put it on top of your makeup, but it literally says number one best cosmetics product in Japan. Fresh powdery, and you can put it on top of your makeup. Especially because I wear makeup, so I can't reapply sunscreen, but I feel like with a stick, I finally can. I don't remember the exact brand, but Dayun from Twice uses the Sika cream. I've been so obsessed with K-pop recently because of Stewie, and now I'm like buying the skincare they use. <laughs> Their power, honestly. Honestly. We are in the disgusting Don Quixote bathroom, but I really want to try the sun stick because for this shoot, the makeup artist did my makeup. That's why I look kind of different today. She removed all my sunscreen before doing my makeup, and today is such a sunny day. Oh my god. I know, so I have to apply sunscreen. This is what it looks like. Okay, ready? Let's see. Did it fuck up? No, I'm gonna... <laughs> I think it took it off a little. It literally took it off. Like, I can see it. <laughs> I can see the lines. Yeah, like... Yeah. Yeah, my foundation's gone. <laughs> but honestly... A fucked up foundation is better than no sunscreen. Real. Do you guys think it's just like the type of makeup she used? Cause like she didn't set my face with powder. The old road didn't put on like any setting spray or anything at all. It's literally just like a bunch of creams and concealers and everything. So maybe that's why. That could be it. But honestly like my face doesn't look bad even after it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like it took off a little bit but I think it's fine. Honestly I would rate this a 6 out of 10. I have to try it with my regular makeup. I'm a little bit self-conscious about my smudged makeup. It's okay. I'm gonna redo it anyway. Right now we're in cocoa we're gonna get some tapioca they don't have milk alternatives here so we're gonna have to get like one of those tropical things we got our drinks they were like oh yeah we're a tapioca store but we ran out of tapioca so you can't get any drinks with tapioca so i got myself this thing and it's literally called lemon king that's so cringy <laughs> what was this one it was like passion fruit black tea yeah okay cheers cheers it just squirted all over me God. wait that's yummy mm, this is good Wait, that's so good. Right? So we got 100% sweetness. I got 50%. Wait, that's so good yeah, too. Yeah, it just tastes like lemon tea, honestly. But there's like a whole lemon in there. Whole? Whole? Now we're just gonna go to the shoe store to look for new shoes for Stewie. Guys, it has only been like a month since I bought this. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. my god, Stewie uses it for school and for the club and to go to work and to do this and that. So it's his OG shoes. We can <laughs> tell. ABC Mart Grand Stage. This is the most massive. Wait, it's real. But look at these. This looks so cute. Like blue platform superstars. I feel like I need it. And it's only like 140. Oh my god. <gasps> It's here, it's here, it's here. Wait, look, they have a discount. Oh my god, that's such a big discount. I have to get it, I'm gonna get it. Stewie has been wanting these because we tried it once. We just need black shoes for Stewie because he's gonna use it so much in Nichoma to dance. I'm not gonna use that. Because look at that. That's, that's what you said with that one. Oh my god. Wait, this is so exciting, Stewie. Does it fit? Does it fit? Congratulations on your purchase! Thank you! <laughs> oh my god. Like, I literally came out of the house for the preparation of like... To pay for... 12,000 yen. Yeah. And then it was like... Oh, happy Leo season! <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I deserve that for you! Yeah, hi! Yeah, happy Leo season! <laughs> oh, really? Oh, thank you! Do you want to say hi? Hi! Thank you so much, have a good day, okay? Bye! Oh, really? Hi! What's your name? Abigail, Abigail, I'm Stan. Where are you guys from? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thanks for saying hi. You guys have a good day. Bye. Thank you. You guys have a good day. Bye. But yeah, congrats on the purchase, Stewie. Thank you. Anyway, I have to go to the shoot for that pool scene. So I'll be back maybe like midnight. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It'll be like a long night shoot.